But anyway, my clock says it's 12.01, so let's begin, I guess. Um, here we see the course page. So if we scroll down, there should be an introduction, which I will talk about quickly. So what's this course about? So there's generally two parts. So day one is sort of big picture kind of things. So we're talking about high performance computing in general, uh, what kind of um, tools you may use, uh, some practical skills, things like that. It's mostly sort of lectures and demos. And this is useful even if you aren't doing high performance computing yourself. Like basically any new researcher or even student should start here. Days two and three are getting to the proper high performance computing stuff. So basically using the cluster, um, yeah, using the cluster to do big calculations. And this is a lot more hands-on. So attending this course are people from multiple universities and with different clusters. Um, this means that there, everyone may have slightly different tools they need to use. Maybe someone's even watching the recording and is something different. So we try to talk about general principles and give one example, but what you need to do for your cluster and your particular circumstance may be slightly different. So we'll try to carefully explain when things may be different, but it's something that you might need to investigate yourself, read your own documentation and so on. Who are we? So we call ourselves Alto Scientific Computing. We're at Alto University in Finland. We work in collaboration with other people in Finland. Um, and there's one talk by someone from CSC, the IT Center for Science in Finland, who basically run the biggest computers. But you'll hear a little bit more about us later in the course. So let's go a bit into some practicalities. How does this workshop actually work? So when some people teach online, you can reach a few tens of people in a Zoom meeting. Right now, I see there's 132 people watching our live stream, which is a lot. And we have an interesting strategy to make this possible. So our live stream is a broadcast, like a TV production. Anyone in the world can watch it and we don't have to hide our Zoom links. So at times when something's hands-on, we'll pause and go to a, um, um, a break screen, and then you will be able to work on your own, on the exercises, and so on. So for days two and three, there might be some groups that have these in-person breakout rooms where you can basically go and you can get help live or there might be zoom sessions where you can be helped and so on so basically we've separated the teaching part from the exercise and the mentoring part which i think is a way to go in the future there's many different parts of the workshop so there's talking and demos there's some type along where we'll be demonstrating something and you'll have a chance to um, do it at the same time as us. There may be exercises where we say, here's what you should do, and then we go away and then you work on it by yourself. And then we have breaks. So how do we talk? So we've already seen PackMD but basically it will start looking like this. So there will be these questions and then people will answer in other bullet points down below. And you can answer, um, we answer in whatever order, but you should always ask new questions or put new comments at the bottom because that's where we're watching. And once something scrolls off the screen, we might not notice it immediately. Also, the HackMD is used to communicate links and other material back to you. For example, we put the links to the section we're on, and you can figure out where we are if we get lost. At the top has a lot of useful links also. We already discovered the switching between edit and view mode here. Um, 
If HackMD starts slowing down, we find that if people switch to view mode, that might make it a little bit better or refresh the screen. Um, yeah, and HackMD is going to get full of questions, especially on days two and three. So don't get overloaded by it. So you can read it later, uh, read it later if you need to. You don't have to follow everything now. So where do you focus? So there's just so much information that will be in this course. First off is the screen share and lecture on Twitch. Then there's your own type long portion. Um, there's the HackMD. So it's sort of a balance, a choice, how you follow these. And I think I'll mention a little bit more about that later. Here's a recommended screen arrangement. So we have Twitch on one side. So you should hide the chat so it goes away because you don't need to look at that at all. And there's a reason we have it in this portrait mode. So we have it this way so it will only use half of your screen and the other half of your screen is available for your own work. And with this, we've heard people say that even a small laptop is enough to take this course. So what I like most about the way we teach is that I think we're accessible to more learning styles than a usual course. So you don't have to be in this course and pay attention and get everything right away. So there's many different paths and you need to choose your own. You might watch passively and sort of like see people demonstrate things, but not really uh, try to do it all yourself. And then um, self-study it later with the materials that you've been introduced to. You might be active all the time, trying to do everything at the same time and asking lots of questions and things like that. You might sort of leave it on in the background and then uh, pay attention when things sound interesting. I mean, a lot like people do with TV. You might miss a part and review the videos later in the evening. You might watch the course during the course and then say, okay, I'm gonna do the exercises in the evening or tomorrow morning because I don't wanna to have to do too many things at once. And we support all of these styles. Mm. The flip side is you need to, um, you need to decide which of these things you're taking because if you try to do all of them at once, um, they are, uh, it, you'll be overwhelmed. So in this course, please try to be respectful and helpful. So everyone's learning different levels. Everyone is both a learner and a teacher. And if something is wrong, then let us know right away. So, um, for final notes, so the videos are recorded in YouTube. Because it's a live stream, there's absolutely no privacy risk to you unless you put your name in HackMD. There was a question, how are the videos available later? So Twitch records them on Twitch itself for 14 days. The link is on the course site. And then I'll try to put them on YouTube later this evening. And with this, you should be able to, well, catch up immediately. Uh, are we giving credits for this course this year? I think we haven't talked about that. No, no. no. But if you would like credits, there's this other course, Hands-On Scientific Computing, where you basically do some exercises on similar topics and you can get these credits. Okay, so with that said, I'm 15 seconds over time. So should we go to the first talk of the day? from data storage to your science, which is by Simo and Enrico.